Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the OSGI configuration in AEM using R7 annotations. Uh, so what I will cover in this tutorial is uh, basics of OSGI configuration, what are the OSGI configuration, how to write OSGI configuration using R7 annotations. Then we'll see the different important fields of OSGI configuration and then I'll show you how you can store those OSGI configuration in the form of node or file inside repository and then we'll have a demo right I'll show you a demo uh, so you should understand what is the OSGI configuration basically when you want to give some input to your bundle means your Java file like you give for the component you write OSGI configurations uh, OSGI configuration become very important when you combine these with the run modes these are very very important so uh, we'll have a separate tutorial for OSGI configuration and run modes but in this tutorial I'll talk only about the basics of OSGI configuration so let me show you how OSGI configuration look like go to the system console and then config manager open anything I, I'm just showing you how you can see it so these are the configurations we used to call it OSGI configuration these have the different kind of fields so we I'll show you or I'll teach you how you can write your own OSGI configuration and how you can use those values of those fields in your Java code uh, so we'll see what kind of fields are basically there are four kind of fields one is text type uh, this is not exactly the text type but as based on you know you can see it you can uh, use these fields for uh, string, integer, long, short, many kind of values, passwords and all. Then we'll have a checkbox. Then uh, there, when you want to store some array, so there is a field for that. It's kind of same as multi-field, but it contain only the single field, not exactly multi-field. You can relate this with multi-field. Okay? And then I'll show you the drop-down. So basically these are the four kind of fields we'll see and these are most commonly used or these are the available. And, and then we'll see how you can store those configuration because every time you cannot change those configuration inside this con uh, console. So you have to deploy those configuration in, in as part of the code base. So you, you have two options. You can store that configuration in a file type means empty file. Primary type is empty file or you can, you know, create OSGI config node, sling OSGI config node. I'll show you both. Okay. I'll show you a complete demo where we have a service OSGI config implementation and inside that I'll show you five fields how you can write OSGI configuration and uh, then we'll display these OSGI configuration in the component and front end. Ideally, uh, you should use this configuration inside this only means whenever you are declaring you can use this configuration but just for the demo purpose I'll show you these configuration I'll call this configuration in component and I'll show you okay okay so uh, I wrote a class means implementation class and inside that uh, there are few specific annotations you have to use it at the rate class object class definition basically this is used to generate a meta type resource using annotated type this is a bit of theory the main point is this is used to generate your uh, OSGI configuration fields okay so this basically when you see this uh, configuration inside console you you will find this name okay then you have to create a inner interface class inside that you seeing that you you need to understand this you know, uh, syntax you have to use this syntax only okay this i'm writing within the class you can write in a different class as well that we will cover in this, uh, you know next tutorial but let's understand the basic this is the most basic uh, way of writing it inside that there is a at the rate attribute definition annotation basically this annotation you will be using on a particular method and you pass some parameters this is used to generate your fields what kind of field it is so you will be seeing here i use at the rate uh, attribute annotation which have a name and then the description this will basically you will find this for that field and then type type is important basically this type is used to define what kind of field it is so if you see i define the string so that means it field will be the string type means text which contain a string then i define a method so basically this method will return whatever the value this field have and you can give the default value as well so suppose i do not give anything on the first uh, you know deployment so this will be the default value if you want to you know make it integer you want to use that field to you know keeping integer so you can define integer and return if you see the return type is basically what kind of your field you want to 
treat that. For checkbox, you only define the attribute type is equal to boolean and then whatever the value you're returning is boolean. That's a default value you can give either true or false. Uh, then if you want to define an array type means multi-field type where you can add any number of that. So you define, if you seeing here the three parameters are exactly same, only the difference is the methods. Your method is returning array of string. Right? and default value so it's up to you whether you want to give default value or not but when we deploy it you will have the two values by default inside that array and if drop down so basically to add drop down you will have an additional option called options and inside option you will define options so and inside option you have a label and value so these what how many number of the options at uh, annotations you will use those many of the you know items you will have in your drop down inside and then you will return it okay uh, obviously the default value you can give so these are the mainly fields for type okay so let's deploy it and see uh, you remember i did not do anything right now i'm just uh, defining those fields and this designate right this is important at the rate designate this is used to generate designate element in the meta type resource for an object class definition means it will generate meta type elements for this whatever you define using object class definition okay using the annotative declarative services so this is a bit of theory you can read but we'll discuss what exactly you know more practical things so uh, if you will see here i used osgi impl and then dot config why because this is my class what I define and inside that I have an inner interface class right so that's why I define uh, in this first OSGI config and then name of this interface class then uh, you know dot class so you have to make sure it if you do not write it uh, you won't be able to see your fields this is important to make you know uh, this configuration available let's me deploy and let's see Okay, so build is done. Now let me refresh it and go to the system console config manager, config MGR. And search for this name, what I define here, AM Geeks. So I came here and start searching. So as soon as I search, you will find this Geek, AM Geeks hyphen OSGL configuration, what I gave here in name. Right? This is name and this is description. So if you open it, just click on it, you will find these fields. As I told you, there are mainly four kind of fields. This is a text. What I gave is the default value that is already available. This is the name, what I gave name. So you can identify by name. If you will be seeing here, this was my name and this was the description and the service name. So description you can see here. And this inside the bracket, you will be see what was the method name. This is also important. We will be using this sometimes. I'll show you when we will be using this. So this inside bracket, we have the method name without brackets. So this was my method name, service name, brackets. So it is there and you will find same way with every field. This is checkbox as we define the checkbox and this is array. What I define array means the countries. You will be seeing here this one. Okay. I define as an array of a string. So you will see these you can add here plus minus by plus you can add fields and by minus you can remove it okay and this is drop down as i told you so i added three field, three items so three are available and both is already selected because i gave default both as a default okay so now let's see how you can use it you define it but you are not using it ideally you should use these fields uh, inside this class only wherever you define it but you can use anywhere okay so let me show you how you can use these fields means the values of these fields uh, so if you see i wrote a activate method uh, using at the rate activate annotation so you know how what is the purpose of when you want something to be load or executed at the time of this service initiation or uh, to deploy this bundle you will write in activate so what i'm doing inside activate i'm passing this interface class object and then i'm getting all the i'm calling this all the uh, methods so i define variables and inside this variable i'm setting the value whatever i got using this method so you remember this method is defined here okay 
and the same way I can use these variable inside only but because I just for this demo I will display these values inside a component so that's why I wrote some getter method so these each getter method is returning the value what I got from the configuration okay so this is the way and simple as I explained earlier I have a component inside that component I'm calling this service and from this service let me show you this is my uh, so this is my model sling model inside that I'm calling this service which I config and just getter methods returning to front end side front end means the site lay and inside site lay let me zoom it I'm just displaying those values service name service uh, count live data run modes and then items means whatever the countries I got okay so this is only used for display uh, for render just to show you for the demo purpose okay let me deploy this uh, so these are my values service name count and all so let's change some values and see the difference okay go here I change this am geeks and value to 55 make it true and add one more like a fr and I change this value to author I saved it and just refresh it okay so the value has been changed now so that way you can you know change values but uh, the th think about it every time server on server you do not have control you cannot change these values on the server itself right uh, suppose your code will deploy on production but you do not have access to production so it's not possible to go to the console means this console and change the values so am provide you you can store these configuration as a code base right so there is a two ways i already explained either you can store in a file means primary type nt file or primary type sling colon osgi configuration so by default you must have a question when you save something these configuration should be stored somewhere right in repository so if you go to your crxt you will find inside apps that location might be different for you when you initially first create this configuration so you this might be available inside a system go to the system and then configuration i'm talking initially but that might be different on your system okay so you will find this configuration if you will check uh, you can identify using this your package so com uh, am geek score and your name of your implementation class if you open it so you will find all the configurations here right and it's a file type means you can write it somewhere whatever you want here so it has if you see the key value pair means the key is whatever the method name it was means this method name let me show you right this one and whatever you see there if you open it console and you search it as i told you so whatever you seeing here inside bracket so this is the basically a kind of key not exactly key it's equal so let me show you see this one okay let me zoom it if i can so this and the same way so this is the one way of doing it right it's an empty type of file but you should not keep here itself right it's a generic location so when you create project using maven you will find some folders like config config.author config.prod config.stage you and you can create your own as well these we call run modes so we will have a detail uh, separate tutorial for the run mode and the osgi configuration so for now what you can understood is just copy this and move from file from here to this author either author or in config okay so for for now let only for the understanding purpose okay so now okay it should not be a place on both okay it removed now so if you see whatever value I x uh, you know here those values are in this file so if i change some value from this file let me give six and let me add one more column 
I N. I'm talking about like hi. Okay, if I save it, if I refresh this, whatever you save inside that file, those values should be available here now. See, uh, it has changed, number change. Uh, this one more has been added now so that's where basically you should deploy this configuration as a you know uh, as a file this is the one way of doing it i should add uh, this is you know kind of empty file but i can use it uh, you know i can create in osgi configuration as well and this is uh, the most commonly used right if you see others it's OSGI configuration so let me remove it here delete and let me create a node okay cold a uh, sling it should be a uh, sling osgi configuration this guy. and what should be the name go here in your configuration and whatever you find here just create a node with this name okay right so you created a node Right. it is type of OSGI configuration now you should add a value key value means properties right and what should be the uh, you know properties what is the key go here again and whatever you define here means whatever you find here either you can get it from here or whatever your name of your method without packets so And make sure whatever the type you're defining, you should have the same type. Okay, so let me keep in key yeah. add it. Same way, let me add other values as well. So if you want to add a string type values, means array type values. So what do you have to do? Like I have countries. So if you see countries, I have array. So what you have to do? Uh, you click on multi, and then. Add. as soon as you click add it will give you option to add multi fields right one the second is in and uh, again so whatever the value you can add so remember if you want to add a array type value so you have to click on multi and then you have to add okay so I have added all these values now so all values are available so when I saved it I did not you know do anything over console so if you refresh it the page you will see updated values you will see all the values has been updated whatever i gave here if you check so that way uh, you should put this configuration as part of code base either in the osgi config node or an empty file node uh, you can also see the updated configuration inside uh, the console as well open again reopen it if you open so you will see the updated values here as well uh, this was the basic of OSGI configuration, how you should write it. Uh, I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you very much.